I'd like to talk about the ink that the proprietary ink that you'll produce. Everyone, every other company is basically using mortar. They're not using cement. They're not using concrete. It's basically 3D printed mortar houses. But y'all claim to use cement. And and why is that? What is in the mix that, that makes it cement? Well, we can't really tell oh, yeah. you what's <laughs> in it right now. Um, it'll be public really soon. But there's some sort of aggregates or something in it that, that give it additional properties? It does. Because it has it a has... compressive strength of like 7,500 PSI? It cures oh, at 7,500 right. minimum. I mean, we can dial that up at any time, right? Um, so yes, and actually when um, a wall's a wall strength is weakest corner to corner. And when we had to do the compressive uh, breakage, one of the rules or, or, the, or the tests of AC 509 is you have to actually break the wall. The lab on the East Coast couldn't find a, a, a machine strong enough to break our walls. They had to order one special, cost us an extra 20,000 bucks for them to do this. And <laughs> to yeah, break a wall. We, were, we were three times stronger than any machine that they could find. And what was the need to develop such a strong material? Like, is it, it, is it more expensive to develop something like this? Well, that's a good question too. We're actually about a third less, um, you know, per super sack uh, based on the competitive 3D material that's out there uh, with other concrete companies that is non-coated. None of the material that's out there is coated in any way or standardized in any way. Ours will be and is, and we're also cheaper uh, than them. So even if you were to build affordable houses or one-story houses that do not need concrete that has a compressive strength of 7,500 PSI, you all would still use that just because... Absolutely. It, yeah, it, completely. No reason not to, right? It only makes the house stronger and better. Yeah. Um, it, it only, uh, there's no reason not to use it. it you're not going to get a material that's less expensive for less, um, you know, compression, compressive strength. So you would just use it as an example, approximate pricing, depending on where you are, because sourcing this material throughout the globe is going to be a little bit of a different price, right? But, uh, on average to build a 1000 square foot home, right? With an in, a couple inside walls. That would take about 30 super sacks. Each super sack for us is probably going to cost about 300 bucks, right? So you're talking about $9,000 in material only to do the frame. Okay. That is stunningly inexpensive. 